Hey guys, it's Diffusar3 here, and today for you, I've got some Battlefield 3 gameplay on Sign Crossing. The gun I'm using is the Orge 3, and I gotta say, this gun is really nice to use. If you haven't used it already, go and try it out, you'll do really well, and yeah. So in this commentary, I'm going to be talking about the new information we've learned recently about Battlefield 4. So over the release of the Xbox One, or not the release, but the announcements of the Xbox One, we found out a lot of new information from Battlefield 4, and yeah, I'm going to be telling you guys about it. So the first information we've learned is that it's going to be released on the 29th of October 2013. Now this um, release date is going to be pretty cool because we're going to be getting it earlier than the Call of Duty franchise, um, the Ghosts, I think Ghosts is coming out sometime in November, and also the Xbox One and PS4 are coming out a bit later. So um, yeah, to keep us going we're going to get Battlefield 4 before all of them, so hopefully we'll get um, more people on Battlefield 4 because they've got nothing else to play. What we also have learned is that um, at E3, which is going to be from June the 10th, we're going to be seeing a lot of Battlefield 3 gameplay, um, Battlefield multiplayer gameplay, in fact. And we're going to so this will be good because we're going to be seeing the components of Battlefield 4's multiplayer, and we're also going to be seeing like how it plays, the graphics, just stuff like that. And yeah, I personally aren't going to be going. Aren't, I'm not going to be going to E3, but um, people like um, Level Cap Gaming and people like that, they're going to be going to A3, E3, and. Um, as they play Battlefield 3 a lot, they're going to be reporting on Battlefield 4. So yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of Battlefield 4 stuff from them. So yeah, you should really check them out. Another thing we've learned is the new map pack is not actually going to be called Drone Strike um, for Battlefield 4, the first one. We're going to be actually seeing it to be called China Rising. I'll put a picture of it on screen now so you guys can see. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. In the front, we've got um, a guy kind of holding a sniper rifle. He's got one on his back as well. And he's running. He looks kind of cool. Like he's, the, I think he's the same guy from the actual um, other other picture of um, the battlefield four. We've also got a tank in the background, and on in the sky we've got three drones. These drones, I think, might provide UAV support, or they might just be like the C-130s, like we've seen before. But yeah, they might do something cool. I don't know what, but I think this map pack looks pretty cool. I've learned also that we're going to be seeing just China maps in this map pack, so um, yeah, if you like China maps with all the destruction and stuff, you're going to be liking this map pack. If you actually want to get this map pack, all what you have to do is just pre-order Battlefield 4, um, then you'll get it free of charge. You can also just buy Battlefield 4 when it comes out, um, if you get premium then you'll get it free of charge as well, or you can just buy the map pack on its own. I personally, I think I'm going to be getting premium because I think it's quite a nice idea, you just get all the stuff for free and you also get a lot of extra stuff. Premium's better in Battlefield than it is in, um, what's it called, um, uh, Call of Duty, just because um, in Call of Duty you just get map packs and you don't get anything else, you still have to pay for camos even if you are on Premium, so yeah, on Battlefield you just get so much stuff with your Premium, so it's a really good idea. So anyway guys, if you want to leave in the comments your thoughts of what this new news is bringing to Battlefield 4, whether you're going to be actually be getting Battlefield 4 and on what system, and yeah. I actually haven't pre-ordered Battlefield 4 yet, just because I don't know what system I'm going to be playing it on. I probably will be playing on either PC, Xbox One or PS3, I don't know which one yet, but um, it will be one of those three. I'm not going to be getting the PS4 just because, I don't know, I haven't really had an Xbox before and um, Xbox One seems alright so I probably will be going with that. Anyway, this is pretty much the end of the commentary, hope you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, bye.